Um, let me say this. Um, likely, it's important for organizations like intelligence agencies because it helps them to be able to do their work, um, make their work easy, uh, I mean, make the work easier for them to do. But if you look at the peculiarity of a nation like Nigeria, we have abject, there's abject poverty and illiteracy. The climes where you see that operating, the literacy level is so high, where people approach hospitals to give birth. Look, if you check, I see that a um, large percentage of the people are still giving birth at home. Mm -hmm. Such children are not even having records. But in abroad, the moment, even before you give birth to a child, you will give the name. They will document the name. They know the sex. The moment the child is born, they take the palm print and then the footprint. footprint and they document the child within one hour of coming to life. Now, for us to have such, okay, he mentioned INEC and the total people INEC registered was about 65 million Nigerians. And we're talking about 208 million Nigerians. Well, beyond INEC, all the data capturing they're doing, the driver's license, you capture data, whatever you're doing, you're capturing all this data. Where are they putting it? The process was faulty, had an issue. Call FRS, uh, FRSC today and ask them to present their data. At the end of the day, it's got about over 40% of those data would not be useful because Why? of the process, the you process, the equipment. You see, it's not something that you just give out a contract to someone and say, mm -hmm. you know, go and do this for me. And then if, 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 if you look at the banking sector, how much of the information within the banking sector today are genuine? You see addresses, even bankers are not doing the proper KYC where they need to verify addresses. Um, the issue of BVN, we still have a, quite a lot of Nigerians that are not uh, banned, as we speak today, that will prefer to keep their money at home or do their business with what they have. So is it an so, infrastructure problem that they're changing the machines they use at each point so they can't keep up, or it's just the lack of the will to do it? Uh, All together, including the innate, uh, the corrupt nature hmm. of Nigerians. We always want to, you know, uh, circumvent systems. We always want to look for shortcuts at doing things. And because somebody is willing to give you 200,000 Naira to just open an account for him without going through the process, you want to do it. There are still a lot of politicians that are still having accounts that are not connected to their BVN hmm. because they know that EFCC is watching. So that is the peculiarity of a nation like Nigeria. And if you go to, to the you know, interior, the interlands, there are quite a lot of people that are not documented as we speak. So when you want to talk about um, database. database is an Aculean task until there is the desire. And this brings everything together, including security, collaboration, education, and training. That three is the solution. Collaboration in the sense that the government needs to collaborate with the traditional institutions. They have a way they talk to their people until when they begin to speak to these people and take them as an essential component of administration in this country, we will never get it right. Two, training. If you look at the problem that we have in terms of security, the achievement we've gotten so far, the large percentage of it were made possible by the special forces. Those guys that were trained in Belarus and some other countries, they went to Belarus, they went to pa uh, uh, Pakistan and the rest to train. They were the ones that made the, the, the larger portion of the sources we had. The question is, since they started that training, how many sets have they been able to send? Hmm. We left that gap open. If we have been able to do it by now, we should have had between 5,000 to 8,000 trained special forces personnel. And we won't be talking about some bandits staying in the forest and then be terrorizing everybody today.